Okay, so this is the fourth video, and when you come and we sit down for a lesson, I can see where you are, and then that gives me the information to, uh, to you know, to shoot more videos. So this is about as much as I can think of based on our experience. So one skill that you would need to get is to be able to take a lick or a song arrangement and play it really slow. So we're going to do a lick that you already know, which is... And you, you, you can get out a metronome and you play that really slow. So you get it to the point where you go. One, two, three, four. Then we, then we play a little faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I just happen to see a metronome over here. How handy. Okay. So, and I have, I'm going to set that on 86, okay? So, playing one note per click, you go through your basic licks. So, one lick we worked on was... And you even get to the point where you can even play it slower than that. Now this is really slow. Now that's really hard to play at that speed. It's much harder to play slow than it is fast. So we'll go up to 70 and it'll be a little easier. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna play Foggy Mountain Breakdown at this speed, and I'm gonna play it the way that I play it, whereas if you were gonna play it, you would play it, what, however you play it, you get it in your head where you play it the same time, same way each time, and can play it real slow. So here's slow. song is you should be able to you should train yourself and this is going to take several months where you can play it real slow so boiling cabbage down which is just a forward and backward roll so on and so forth. Now, I just got done recording uh, Blackberry Blossom with Curtis Jones, and uh, and we played it at 145, which is pretty fast. So I'm going to play that and just show you kind of the results of what happens when you practice like we just did, where it's clear what the arrangement is. One, two, three, four.
six or seven hours playing that over and over to be able to do what I just did. And I actually made a little mistake on the end. And I've also been playing that break for close to 40 years. So that's kind of how you get there. So in summary, you can use the uh, five, three, one, five, three, one as backup. You can put it in where the singer's taking a breath, going down that road feeling bad. Okay, starting with that. It's another thing. The second thing is, is there are some basic licks that you use in bluegrass. And so you learn those. Or you can play them ultra slow and then you speed up. So. And that's one of the licks you learn. So you, you, so you make sure you can play it at that speed. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I guess that's going to be it for now. So um, if you have any questions, call me. But without seeing you, I don't think I can answer the question. You know what I mean? Because I have to relate it specifically to to you and also specifically to a uh, particular song. So hopefully this helps and doesn't cause more confusion.